Dang. Oh! What is up, I'm Everest freaking excited for the video as always today. Now we're mixing it up a little bit. My good friend Larry told myself and Zach from SC Fish Keeping that he has a property he wants us to come check out. Now this property is very, very unique. It's one with like nine to 15 ponds on it, all of which he has dug himself and stocked with all different types of species of fish. Now, like many people in the last year uh, in our area, it was very, very badly affected by some of the flooding. So he wants us to come out and check out some of the fish. We're gonna do a little bit of fishing. We're gonna go around, check out his whole farm and property. It's supposed to be a crazy place. We're gonna take Cole the camera guy and uh, Max the dab master as long as well. I went and picked up a couple different traps on Amazon. So we're gonna try to use some of these traps right here um, as well as this cast net right here to uh, kind of check out what's in this pond, see what invasive species there are and uh, start removing them as soon as possible. Larry also told us kind of a unique way we're gonna be removing these invasive species. So I'm excited to show you guys that as well. Well, Zach, you didn't give me more park. This looks like the right place. We did it. That dog's as big as you are. Damn, Larry got a bass boat back there. There he is. We found you. Hello. How we doing? This is my son, Max. Hi, Max. Are you the one who's having a baby? Yep. I am. Yep. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And this is Cole. He's my camera guy. Let's figure it out, Larry. Push, push in on this real hard. You got it. It's got to be centered in on that. Yep. You've done it before. What part goes over? Huh? This, this part goes down. Does it turn at all? There we go. <laughs> Jesus. Got the brains. You said it was strong and you really needed the brains. <laughs> you see the let's, let's see the Yeah, let's check them out. He's got his freaking apocalypse. Doomsday shelter. Larry's doomsday shelter. Dude, that's badass. Larry's got everything out here. This needs to go in the ponds. That's the rock pile dreams are made of. So we just got out to Larry's pond situation. So he's got nine ponds. He's going to show us around here. Some of them have small mouth and large mouth, and some of them have some problems from the flood. So we're going to try to help him out. But first we need to see what he needs done. So I reached out as far as I could with the excavator and I dug her down 12, 15 foot now, 10 to 15 foot and put all the dirt here this winter. Small mouth in here 20 years ago. So you'll catch crappie from here to there. Dang. That's awesome. Sweet. So that's a whole lot of coffee. Here. Yeah. Yeah, and we just want to help. I mean, you said you had the bullhead issue too, right? Right here. Right here. That's the spawn. And the next one and the next one. Gotcha. Now the, the other three are full of goldfish. How big are they? Anywhere from this big to this big. Also, there's some good size ones then. They're not just like the little baby ones. Well, they have a hatch too. Gotcha. Yeah. Yep. Get little ones and they'll get. Bullets. Yep. Yep. You get something big enough to eat if you like bullheads. I personally don't. So you're trying to get out of here as many bullets as possible. Yeah, but you won't be able to get it. <laughs> no, of course. Yeah, you'll never be able to do it. It's all spring fed here. Interesting. No inlet. Everything is outlet. Weird. My mate came last week and killed the boat. Really? Got in there? Put traps in. Yeah, you dug a hole down on that back corner. Oh, shit. And uh, I seen he killed the male. Feathers on already for the spring. Ah. Uh. Killed it, put traps in, and he got around the traps and killed the female. <laughs> and then the next day I, I got him in the trap. Big old male. Yeah, yeah. He's so smart. Huxley likes it. Yeah. Oh. Dang. And crawdads. Look at that, Max. Crawdads go home with me tonight. And... You would have blue clubs. What'd you put for bait in there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what, what's in there? Um. It's regular fish food and gotcha. bread. Oh. Nice, those are big ones. Yeah. Have yeah. another body of water up there that has cried edges. Yeah, yeah. I put four grass carp in here this spring, hopefully to get rid of this duck. Yeah, yeah. They were only this big. Huh, cool. The next one is full of bullheads and green sunfish. The next one is goldfish in. And that new one there, I'm just stocking with goldfish now. How they get spread, I don't know if the ducks do it. I don't know. Probably. I've never yeah. put a bullhead in here. Uh-huh. Huh. I've got a 200 yard pond on the other side of this loop. I put bass in it years ago. We were catching five pound, four pound, five pound bass yeah. in there. Huh. Huh. And uh, then that got full of duckweed. Oh. 
So w whether they made it or not, I don't even know. Hmm. Bigger body of water, longer. It's only 20 foot wide, but it's 10 foot deep and it's 200 yards long. Yeah. Deal. You got a lot going on. <laughs> <laughs> you will catch crappie there if you want to fish for crappie. Sweet. If you want to see the other ponds. Yeah, let's check them yeah. out. Let's look at them while we're out here. Oh, there they go. <laughs> Actually, it's like, I'll get some. Whatever that was is big. They just took off right there, that big there's, swirl. There's perch in here too. What? I want to catch one smallmouth. They're probably giant. Hop on, Max. We'll see what happens. What about... Uh... Huxley will chase us. Hang on tight, okay? okay. There he is, I'm getting insurance. So we just went and checked out some of Larry's ponds. Um, definitely a big bullhead problem he's talking about at some of these bigger ones. So I think one of the main things we're going to be doing for Larry is trying to take as many of these bullhead out as possible. He had a trap out to for a couple days and he trapped a ton of bullhead. But uh, right now we're going to see he's got a, a golden shiner pond. Larry has all these ponds he's just been like digging out randomly as we go. Told us about another pond too that he used to catch big bass in. He's not sure what lives there. I'm about to check that one out as well someday. Maybe today. Come on, Hux! Good job, Hux! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> you didn't like that at all, did you, Max? Loved it. <laughs> Loved it. This one's actually got some water quality here. Something freaking jumped when we pulled up. That was a Duck or muskrat or what? Golden shiners got in that. Sweet. And also golden shiners got all the way down where that where you saw the bullet. Yeah. Out of that pond, this pond right here. Huh. I didn't have it burned up high enough. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'll take some. Minnows. Ooh, tadpoles too. Big tadpoles. Yeah, it is. Big shiners, big tadpoles. The big ones are the ones I stock with. Yeah. And see the fat head minnows. Down yeah, there. yeah. And tadpoles. How many tadpoles do you want? <laughs> They, got they eat millions. The babies too. Oh, do they? Interesting. They eat the eggs. I'll come back later, though. Yeah, yeah. So Larry was saying he's got the generator up there, and it's hooked to aerators in these four ponds, and so he lets it run until it runs out of out of gas. But this pond, he said, everything gets, gets duckweed and it gets overtaken. Everything dies off, so he tries to keep duckweed out of his ponds. It's funny because when we bass fish, we're constantly looking for duckweed to throw a frog at or top water bait or flip or whatever. But uh, little ponds like this where there's duckweed, no bueno. He said that it can like repopulate, repopulate? He said it can uh, can you know, like double in size on a hot summer day, this uh, this duckweed. But he's got the damn setup out here. Yeah, it's really got the aerator going here. More shine, oh, there's minnows, huh? <laughs> there's like a million minnows. They're everywhere. Is there shiners here too? Not because I wanted them. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they went over, fish. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you bet. Max, you probably catch something here, it sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where's the, uh, where's the one where there's the, the large mouth that's long and narrow? Is that back there, you said? Deal. Oh, shoot. This water's three ponds. Yeah. And the muskrat opened it up. That's cool. I'm going to look at that. Sweet. Huxley, you found the deep water. Damn. It's good Good water quality, too. He said the middle of it is 10 foot. Yeah, that's crazy. Larry said the muskrats opened this one up, too. This is where he said he used to catch four or five pound bass all the time. And uh, he hasn't fished in a long time, so... I don't know if we're going to catch any or check it out today, but this place is crazy. Definitely comment below. Let us know what you guys want to see as far as content out of these ponds. I think we're going to get to uh, fish and try to remove a bunch of these bullheads, catch as many of them as possible, maybe eat them. 
Zach might take them for uh, fish food too, fish bait. And um, yeah, we want to know what you guys want to see though. This is, this is crazy. <laughs> He's like just loving life. Dude, I wish I would have brought my damn crappie jigs in my box. I got uh, ice fishing stuff though. I have night crawlers too. Max, I got to rig you up a bobber or something. Do you have minnows by chance? We have night crawlers, but we have little lures I think they would eat too. Yeah, they'll eat those. We'll see. We'll have to grab some minnows well, ahead, next time. Bro. I'll go back out to that trap and get those minnows out of there, or I'll, I got some right there. Deal. Max is rocking his 25 MD the other day. Oh, here we go. We'll put, we'll throw one of these guys for you. Forgot I had these in here. Max, you're gonna be crappie killer. <laughs> Maybe. I got chicken breasts. I got everything, Max. Get them bloody. So, never mind, that's what you do with sharks. Sorry. That's, that's what you, sorry for the confusion. All right, Max, here you go. Dead minnows galore. Sweet. Deal. Nice. Thank you. Word. Yeah, Max is going to make it rain. Just drop it straight on, bud. Yellow perch? I don't think they spawn so I put them in there like this. Yeah. I don't see them again. But when I do get them, they they have a hump on them. Damn. <laughs> that's crazy. Is it going down, bud? There. So that's it's down. See, there's a black thing right above your bobber uh -huh. on the line. So we're gonna adjust that too. But that should be a good way to start with, right there. And just kind of watch your bobber. Mm -hmm. We'll see if we can get anything. I'm gonna drop this down off the end of it though. Looks like it is. It's about this deep here. You gotta yeah, let it go do down. It, get it down. It goes down on its own because of the weight. So that it's sli it's sliding through your bobber right now. Your line is, and then there's that black bobber stopper that's there right now. So oh, you got oh a uh, crappie just tried to eat your bobber, dude. <laughs> that's awesome. So I'd be ready. Let let you let it go through there. How, what are we trying to catch? You're probably gonna catch a crappie here, I would think. What are we trying to catch? Crappie, crappie, bullhead, smallmouth. Whatever lives here, I want to see what lives in this little spot. If you don't catch anything on that, we'll just put a uh, something on the bottom for you. That way you can catch some bullheads. You could probably actually, we could attract them a little bit. How many are you going to throw in there? Like this. A little chum action. Well, are you watching your bobber? Yes. You distracted me. I wonder if it was just that one little crappie guy that was there. Ooh, so something just so, uh, came up there. See the swirl? Look at this crappie eating them off the surface, Max. Come, they won't eat ours. Look at that. That's getting close. Freaking eating like crazy. They know. They freaking, they're dialed in on the live, the real bait. If you catch a big, if there's big fish, holler. Get him, Max. Me. Oh, that's a big bullhead, dude. God dang. That's a giant. Oh, God, get him. Dude. Catfish. It's a bullhead. Oh. That's what he's talking about. There's so many of these in here. Dude, that's so, that's a big one. Do we have a bucket? Larry's got one, doesn't he? It has a... Dude, that was badass. He did eat your minnow, didn't he? You better put another one on there. Damn. That's a that's the eater size there, Max. We'll just put him over here. Cause he'll probably stay alive for like six years. Max is on the board. We're just riding the struggle bus over here. Cole distracted you. Yeah, Cole distracted you. What a dick. When you, they, always, they always bite when you're not paying um, attention. Uh, dude, I don't know. There's a bunch of freaking fish eating over here. Oh, Jesus. There's bullheads everywhere here. There you go, Max. You got one. Get him. Get him. Aww. Little bullhead. That's okay. Max is on the board times two. Bullheads are poisonous, Max. They are? Yep. To eat? Nope. To touch. They got spines like catfish. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna throw a trap. We definitely need to take as many of these out of here as possible. Larry said did they're eat my, uh, bad for all the other species. He did eat your minnow. You're gonna have to put a new one on, Max. I'm gonna put a trap out right here though and uh, see if we can catch some bullheads in the trap over here. I'm gonna put some of these dudes in this, uh, in this trap right here and see if we can get some on the trap. And then I got two traps, so I might try. I got some uh, chicken breast, actually. We'll see if they prefer the chicken tid. Little $15 Amazon special. We'll see how it goes. Kind of an interesting little trap guy, obviously, that go in right there to get the minnows and can't get out. 
Yeah, bud, you want to move your uh, Bob, your Robert? There. I'm going right here. Close. Actually, I'll probably be scared of There you go. Nice. Another big one. Jesus, they're everywhere. Here. Oh, shoot. I'll take a pop, I think. I appreciate it, it though. It, it, whatever you want. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, your son, whatever he wants, a coker. Oh, okay, yeah, he said Dr. He, Pepper. Max, would you like a coker or Dr. Pepper? You got it. Thank you very much. Set this on the dock if the Perfect. other guy wants a beer. Deal. That sounds good. I appreciate it, Larry. Do you have any more buckets we could put these bullheads in just for now? Yeah. Is there a lot of them this size? Smaller and bigger. That's crazy. That's a big one. Beer's plenty. Oh, see you later, Max. Mmm. Chicken breasts. Been in my damn car for a couple days. Should be good. Had to get the free range organic ones because the grocery store was sold out of all the other chicken breasts. <laughs> Dude, that's so cool. And he, uh, I know what those are. Yeah, they're cool. Yeah, yeah. And so I talked about how they... Jesus, Cole, you are not sporting. You let this fish die. Oh, Max finally got a crappy. Good work, man. I got the fattest green sunfish in North America here. Really? Yeah, Interesting. That's, that's what I'm trying to you. Cole, you went crawler. I like it. Here, give him here. Okay, that works too. That works. You got him. Throw him back, dude. That's nice work. All right, so Larry says there's giant crappie in here. That was not one of them. There's natural reproduction, so. Always. Who's leading? I think you are, dude. <laughs> Get him, Max. Hello. Jeez. Baby craps, huh? I'm using it. It's okay. <laughs> it's going to look real great on the couple. It is. Good work, man. 3D. <laughs> this is a good bait size, too. Even on, Max, summer. you're killing us here. Should we see if anything's in the trap yet? Nothing yet, homie. <laughs> um, should we go over further over by those rocks, maybe? Yeah, let's go. Probably don't cast over by where his thing is there. What do we got over here? Found a frog. What do we got over here? Oh, it's green sunfish. Dang, these things are eating well. Look at that guy, dude. Look how fat that thing is. Interesting. Interesting. Oh yeah, he's got a minnow down his throat. He does? Yeah, look. <laughs> <laughs> that was quick. I think this might be a better spot. Larry's got traps everywhere. Yeah, like every pond, it looked like there was like one on the side or somewhere. Even that long one had one just randomly floating on the side. <laughs> yeah. Larry brought some bush lights out for you. Oh, that guy came up and got it. <laughs> oh, damn it, Cole. I thought we were going to just smash him there for a second. Max dropped in and caught a big ass bullhead <laughs> jesus max <laughs> how many have you caught uh i caught more than us one that we caught give it here timmy caught one more i caught three at this dock before and i caught one over the, that would be five why are you out fishing us so, so badly it's almost my birthday man Sorry. seriously it's almost zach's birthday and you're gonna sit here and do that yeah you're not invited to his party anymore <laughs> here definitely not You got one on, Max. Oh! Probably gonna go into our bucket. Got him. I watched him come up and gulp it. Tricked. How many do you have? This crap. I think this is 34 for me. Well, that's definitely not. Uh, you haven't been watching me the whole time. You have. That's your second one. No. He got it. There we go. You stole my there fish. There we go. What you know about that, Max? You stole my. Get fish. out of there. That was a lot more than my third one. Yes. Oh god, here comes Cole with the bobber. That counted. No, didn't, it didn't. Didn't count? You didn't put it on the dock. Uh, uh oh. Hey, no. bull, bullhead. Bullhead guy. <laughs> Set it! How about that, Max? Alright, that's, that's, that's your fourth. That's Timmy, your fourth. Timmy the paper guy. That's your fourth. My uh, fish release method was not up to par with YouTube experts right there. You gotta set it, Max. Whoa. See? Uh -oh. How many have you caught? Cool dial. First one. So I'm still winning by one compared to 25. Five. No. We're tied. We're tied. We're tied? Yeah, we're tied. That's you. That was your fifth one. Look how fat these green sunfish are. That's crazy. I made it 10,000. Oh, we got some. Hell yeah. Who caught? What does that count? Two bullheads. This is the minnow right, one. So, 
I like don't know if I got them because they tried to eat the minnows or just because there's that many there that they swam by it. All right, we're even netting them. Check this trap over here. I did not have high hopes. Oh my, there's some in here too, in the titty trap. Damn, there must be so many bullheads. So many bullheads in here. This one's a little bigger one. He's an edible variety. What do you think, Huxley? What do you think? These things are actually really good eating. I used to eat a lot of bullheads growing up. All they're eating in there is a little chicken titty. Pretty neat. I didn't think these fish traps would actually work. That's fantastic. I'll take it. That was crazy. These traps were just put out here. Cole, did you just get one like that again? Damn, they're smart. Don't care about the boot. So would these bullheads be considered an invasive species? Even though they're game fish, they're invasive to this pond, right? <laughs> Grant now Max is hand lighting. Good work, Cole. Oh God, Cole. Cole is hand line snagging. Dude, I know. I wonder if they like eat minnows that are in here or what the deal is. Are you serious? Cole's got the secret hand lining method. It's literally like not even. Oh, you're using the ice fishing jig. Dude, that was my favorite damn ice fishing tungsten for so long. Well, I hope I don't lose it because it's just a single overhand. It's such a pile. I can't believe it. And you finally caught a decent crappie. You are Cole. Huxley, you scared to come out here? Just hanging out. Oh yeah. This looks like one of those things, kind of like a tent that'll never ever go back in this ever again. <laughs> Let's see what lives in here, maybe. Here we go. I haven't done this in so long. I went out and bought a, a cast net. We can't cast net most places where we're from in Nebraska. Um, but since we're at private ponds, Larry's place, I throw this out. He said it's really deep right here, so I don't know if we're gonna get anything. And it's kind of hard to uh, cast net stuff if it's really deep water. It's way better for like a couple feet of water, but try out my new cast nets. I had good reviews on Amazon. I haven't thrown one of these in a long time though. So cut me some slack guys. From fishing, we, we can tell there's definitely a shite load of uh, bullheads, green sunfish, and uh, crappie in this pond. I don't know, let's, let's throw this a few times and see what we get. Poor spread. I'm just doing these throws right now for the YouTube comments of all the experts watching right now. About lost the GoPro. <laughs> that was almost bad. Took my snap mat right off. Jeez, that thing's still sinking. All right, caught some mud. That was a little better. Got some. What did we get? Hey, what do you know? <laughs> Bullheads. Look at little baby tiny ones too. Look at that little guy. That's a good bait size. Large mouth, love eating bullheads. They'd be a perfect size to use for bait. And then we got bigger guy. Ow. Gotta be so careful with these. Bullheads, if you've never caught them before, just like catfish, but I think they might be more poisonous. They got these spines on the top. You can see that one sticking out really sketchy right there. And then the, their side fins as well, these little pectoral fins. Gnarly, gotta stay away from those. Bull's heads, is there more? I don't see anymore. That's cool. We got something. That ain't gonna catch anything. Oh great. Police are here. Max, run. Max, you gotta get off the dock. That's the cops. Oh, still got a guy. Despite my oh, we got a bunch of guys. Despite my bad throws. Look at all these dudes, man. Damn, Larry's not kidding. These little bullheads are everywhere in here. Just minnows. Too small to catch. It's crazy. Little guys. That was like the worst throw ever too, and I still got some. Yeah, little. Oh no, don't do it. Yes. You're not athletic and you'll fall in the lake. <laughs> I'm not athletic, you said? Whoa. Prove you wrong. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> athletic you say <laughs> oh god in his shitting boots 
So there'll probably be a lot of times, obviously, where we can transport these somewhere else to uh, get eaten by bigger fish, or Zach can take them home and uh, put them in some of his tanks. But um, I think, are you gonna take the big one home, Zach? Yeah, I think I'm gonna try. Deal. That's like, that big old pond with nothing in it. Yeah, that's a really good sized bullhead, but we're gonna do something a little bit different today. Larry said, these guys here love the bullheads. Come on in. Maybe not. Damn. Damn. <laughs> that animal killed me. I've ever seen it. I'm so They were three weeks old last Thursday. So this Thursday they'll be four weeks old. Larry apparently didn't know that that was going to be Zach's pet. He just dumped the whole bucket out. We'll have to come back and catch a little Zach's pet. Just grab it. Guys, you peck it to death. And then pick it apart when it dies. You got the setup, Larry. 